next 60 seconds, the station will conduct a test of the emergency broadcast system. When I was a kid, I expected to die. I expected for little man's fat walk to drop on me at any given moment. And in that regard, I did die as a child. And was born again, radioactive. I was surrounded by the prevailing quality of what masculinity should be. All palm mal cigarettes, aqua velva. I didn't want any part of that. It didn't feel like me. Why develop an image if that image can't be a performance of who you really feel that you are? Yeah, I just said a performance of who you really are. I began to think of options. Ways that I could stretch out my elastic self. I began to think in ways that... I could be comfortable in my own sense of who I was. My own sense of masculinity. To develop a strength that was about caring. A strength that went beyond the confines and the conflicts of an era. A strength that went beyond cultural standards to embrace and fulfill something more complete, more unique, more connected. Take my word for it, those are the kind of passions we're going to use. Sputnik 1, Soviet space station. Cold-hearted fun. That sunken shooting part of World War II ended. We have been losing, losing a hundred million people years internationally just to come. Not a hundred thousand, a hundred million. The President of the United States, my fellow Americans. We now stand 10 years past the midpoint of a century that has witnessed four major wars among the great nations. Get your hair, that looks a lady's love. Let's declare the 20th century life as the world of your vacuum cleaner. One year I went to the Muscogee County Fair with my family. There were four different models of fallout shelters. At the same time, it seemed like every backyard in my neighborhood had a backhoe or a bobcat digging a big hole, building a fallout shelter. I learned a lot from that. I began to think that if I could build a rigid structure deep within the canyon that was my emotional self, that I could survive any catastrophe. I could survive any bombardment. I thought that if I could stock my interior with the equivalent of 47 cans of Spam and 28 cans of pork and beans, that I would be able to live out any onslaught and come out intact. That didn't work either. I had to bust out of that structure, bust out of that shell. I had to get out in the world, run the risk of being vulnerable. Live beyond my concept of what was normal. And run as hard as I could from the familiar. <laughs>